Um, I think that we have to be very, very careful about what we mean by this question. And I'm going to try and answer it as frontally as possible, but engage me for a minute, <coughs> because I think that it's really important that the answers that we give to these kinds of questions be grounded in such a way that they can actually be embraced as answers that are respectable according to Islam and the, and the, and the principles and the dictates of Islam. Now, one of the fundamental principles of, and I'm not being sectarian here, I'm just speaking from the, uh, from the context of my own religious tradition. One of the cardinal principles of Sunnism, of Sunni Islam, is that we do not excommunicate individuals on the basis of, 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 of behavioral indiscretions that they commit. And I'll try and break that down so that nobody misunderstands that. We do not say that a person who commits adultery, a person who drinks wine, a person who commits any act is in the commission of that act a non-believer. Right? That's a cardinal principle of, of Islam. Now, so an individual who engages in homosexual behavior, all right, is not disqualified from being a Muslim. And they are Muslim brothers and sisters. When we say, do we make a space for them? Well, if we mean by that, do we accept them as our brothers and sisters, but accept them as brothers and sisters who are engaged in indiscretions, that do not meet Allah's pleasure, yes. In the same way that, you know, people, uh, there's a man who drank wine in the time of the Prophet, and they said, and uh, I mean, he drank wine, I mean, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> and one day he drank wine, and, and, and the companions brought him to the Prophet, and started punishing him, and then they started cursing him. And the prophet said to them, do not curse him, for he loves Allah and he loves his messenger. This man was drinking wine. <laughs> and the, this is the prophet saying, what? <laughs> so in that sense, an individual who's engaged in <coughs> this act, all right, you know, uh, is an individual with whom hopefully we have the constitution to uh, 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 to treat with a degree of empathy. If, however, what we mean by making a space for gay Muslims is that we change the ruling on homosexual acts, not homosexual tendencies. All right, uh, it's my opinion. It's my personal opinion that you might even argue that. There's a sense in which, a sense in which, what is a homosexual? Uh, we don't classify people by tendencies. We classify people by actions. Does everybody understand what I mean by that? All right? And so, I mean, I mean if I have a, a tendency to do something, all right, uh, that doesn't make me a doer of it. And it doesn't earn me any demerits. In fact, if I resist that tendency, it earns me... Uh, I don't want to say credit, but you understand my point, all right? Uh, it earns me reward with Allah, okay? So if homosexuals want to say, I'm a homosexual, and you must accept homosexual acts as being acceptable and permissible in Islam, I don't see a place for that. Any more than I see a place for, I am an adulterer. And you must make a place for adultery in Islam. I am a drinker of wine, and you must make a place for, in other words, not make a place for wine drinkers, all right, but accept wine drinking as an acceptable behavior. That I do not see a place for. But for homosexuals as, homosexuals as Muslims, and homosexuals can be Muslims. And if they are Muslims, they are Muslims. And there's a place for them in terms of the, the degree of acceptability that we owe them as Muslims. But not all Muslims are equal in that sense. 
there are good Muslims and there are bad Muslims. In other words, we do not alter our standard of behavior in terms of what the criteria of Islam happen to be simply to accommodate people. But we accommodate them as human beings with all the frailties that you and I might have. So when we say make a place for homosexuals, I think we have to be very clear what we're talking about. Make a place for people who have a problem? Yes. Make a place for people who want to redefine Islam? No.